These kids were smart enough to ask for help. In 2018, seven-year-old Emmy McCardell was sunbathing outside her home in Salt Lake City when a car pulled up and greeted her. He asked her a suspicious question. No. Emmy knew just what to do, yell no and run into her home. I believe that he was looking for a child to take. She came running in and said, hey, there's a tricky guy outside that tried to get me. I didn't want to go with him because he looked like a tricky man and I didn't know him so I didn't want to go with him. No. We can hear him ask if she wants a bicycle and she says no. Michelle says she taught her two kids from an early age about stranger danger. Never go with a um, a tricky person because they try and take you to a bad place. I'm so grateful that she knew what to do. In 2021, a good Samaritan noticed a teen doing this and called 911. I've been following this Toyota Corolla from Madison County. The female in the passenger side, brunette, motioning for help, call 911. She was giving the TikTok signal, uh, the, je the hand gesture signifying that she needed help. They apparently learned the hand gesture after watching this demonstration on TikTok of a woman using the signal as her abuser stood in the background. Here's how it works. Place your hand like this, palms out, then tuck your thumb into the center of the palm and cover it with your fingers. It's a way to subtly let others know you're in distress without having to verbalize it. Just all one fluid movement, and it says, I need somebody to check in with me in a safe way. In November of 2022, a little boy sensed danger and went to a local business for help. Sammy Green was walking home from school and was approached by a stranger. I guess she was harassing him on the way home and um, saying that she knew his family and she would take him to the Wawa to get some candy um, and kind of to stick with her. So I, I know something internally did not feel good to him and uh, he stepped, he came right into Danny B. Funky. Sammy was a regular at the gift shop, so an employee named Hannah handled the situation. I mean, he was just so cute, but he walked right in the door and the woman actually held the door open for him, um, kind of waiting for him to come back outside or see what he was kind of doing. And um, he came right around the counter and whispered in Hannah's ear and, and said, well, will you pretend to be my mom? Hannah went to talk to the woman, but she took off. She locked the door and alerted her boss as to what happened. Sam has been an inspiration. All I've been getting messages from other parents in other states, and they're saying, oh my God, um, we, I mean, it opens up, uh, it's a conversation starter for parents and children, and what would you do in this situation? The woman was identified by police and was referred for mental health treatment. You know, I don't want this to shed, you know, negative light on Pottstown. Like I said, I do think that this was um, an isolated issue and they're gonna get the woman the help and the care that she needs. In 2022, after this child got lost, he approached this home desperate for somebody to help him. The seven-year-old was dropped off at the wrong bus stop in Omaha, Nebraska, and didn't know his way home. But I don't want my mom to worry about me. Quincy had no idea how to find his house, but the smart little boy did recognize the home of his friend Max, so he rang the doorbell. Max's mom, my brother mom just left me out here. Incredibly, Max's mom had just returned home two minutes earlier. He thought he was going to be lost forever, is what he kept saying. He thought he was never going to find his parents. He thought he was never coming home. Oh, come in. Oh, come on, okay? I told him that was not my stop. So then he opened the door and then he said, get out. Mom Michaela was outraged. Quincy is probably one of the sweetest, most caring and loving kids. So it's like, to be treated like that by an adult just infuriated me. There's a busy intersection directly behind the neighborhood. Anything could have happened. They couldn't be more grateful for Good Samaritan Madison, AKA Max's mom. It's just the right place, right time situation. I owe you everything. For Inside Edition Digital, I'm Andrea Swindle.